Ah, good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is level four researcher Theron Sherman, and this briefing is on the handiwork of one of our favorite parapharmacologists. We're talking about SCP-5740, classified level one, containment class, safe, disruption class, VLAM, risk class, notice, assigned site, site 57, site director, Rashad Holloway, research head, Sam King, assigned task force, mobile task force Delta 14, code name, regulations. Didn't we just used to have object class before? What's with all this? Ah, special containment procedures. Foundation assets are to identify, locate, and shutter all instances of SCP-5740. Individuals affected by instances of SCP-5740-A are to be remanded to Site-57 for analysis and medical treatment. Description. SCP-5740 is a series of pop-up restaurants that appeared in the area starting on June 5th, 2020. The restaurants are small cubicle structures with no discernible openings, save for a small metal chute next to a touchscreen and a face on, presumably, the front side of the structure. The entire remaining surface of the building is covered in advertisements for the building itself. These ads identify the restaurants as Dado Nuts by Dado. Gathering from the advertisements on the exterior of the various instances of SCP-5740, as well as from television advertisements that were purchased to run in the area at the time, SCP-5740 is a stand-up donut shop that advertises specifically to members of law enforcement. In contrast to the supportive tone of many of the advertisements, the donuts, hereafter identified as SCP-5740-A, are not conducive to human health. When a member of law enforcement approaches SCP-5740, a jingle will begin to play from within the structure. Afterwards, the touchscreen in the face will activate, encouraging the individual to press a red button on the screen to receive a donut. Once this is done, an instance of SCP-5740-A will drop out of the metal chute. Note that instances of SCP-5740-A only generate when SCP-5740 is activated by members of law enforcement. SCP-5740 will still activate when others approach, but will typically drop non-anomalous donuts of varying shapes and designs based on the person's profession. A full list of known deviations is available below on the following table that lists subject and outcome. Civilian, glazed donut. Healthcare worker, donut with white frosting and red cross sprinkles. EMT, donut with chocolate frosting and a bottle of Gatorade. Firefighter, donut with red frosting and blue water droplet sprinkles. National Guard, cake donut with the word behave written across it in red frosting. Law Enforcement, SCP-5740-A. The effects of SCP-5740-A are typically not observed until roughly four to six hours post-consumption. Affected individuals will briefly experience stomach discomfort and bloating, followed by extreme diarrhea. Immediately afterwards, the subject will begin to excrete a domesticated pig, genus Seuss domesticus, from their rectum. How this animal, which is otherwise not anomalous, manifests within the subject's bowels is currently poorly understood. How the size of the excreted hog is determined is a point of ongoing discussion among SCP-5740 researchers. While there appears to be no correlation between the size of the animal and the size of the subject, there does appear to be at least a mild relationship between the size of the animal and the disciplinary record of the subject. Officers with fewer disciplinary offenses or who had commendations for service to the community typically excrete smaller hogs. However, those with records that indicate they have been the subject of disciplinary action or who have taken actions in their line of work that should warrant disciplinary action regardless of whether or not they were disciplined are more likely to excrete hogs of considerably larger sizes. Despite the vast disparity in some cases between the size of the excreted hog and the size of the subject's anus, the bodies of affected individuals are anomalously capable of passing the swine, though not without effort. In many cases, the act of passing a four to 500 pound hog can take many hours and be excruciatingly painful for the affected individual. This, coupled with the fact that the hogs in question are almost always panicked upon their formation within the rectum, often results in the process being extremely traumatic for both the subject and the excreted hog. The dramatized anuses and rectums of the affected subjects will eventually recover and return to their pre-anomalous state, typically over the course of several weeks with medical therapy. However, to date, no subject who has passed a hog larger than 20 kilograms has ever fully regained complete control over their sphincter. Addendum 5740-1, Communication with Person of Interest, Dado. 
Shortly after the discovery of the first instance of SCP-5740, it was also discovered that the touchscreen interface could be manipulated to reveal a text interface. This interface appears to be solely for processing refunds. However, a large sign just above the interface boldly states, NO REFUNDS. Using this interface, Foundation agents attempted to communicate with the person of interest, Datto. Begin log. Hello? Hello, yes, this is Dadona Customer Servicing, where you can get that nut you crave. How can I be of helping you? Is this Datto? No, Datto is telling you this is Dadona Customer Servicing. Here is where you get servicings of the Donut Fine Donut Shop. You need help with nut? No, I am a reporter with a local newspaper trying to write a story about your... Sorry, keyboard sticky. Your fine donut shops. Is there somewhere we could meet? Do not worry. Dado is understandings. Sometimes Dado is right slowly on keyboard. However, Dado is used video game of 1990s called Mario's Typing Teacher to learn finger speed. Also, Dado is currently not do publicity shoot for the donut business, as you see Dado is very important businessman with very many business venture. But Dado is happy to answer questions if you have them. That would be helpful, yes. We notice that your stores don't appear to have any openings. How do they work? Mmm, unfortunately this is Dado trade secret. You see, Dado has used special Dado brand technology to be sending only highest quality Dado nut to all locations of the Donut Find stores. Is there anything inside the stores? Dado is beginning to think you is attempting to swindle Dado by confiscation of Dado technologies. No, no, nothing like that. Different question. Some of your donuts seem to cause certain health problems with law enforcement officers. Why is that? Dado is not knowing what you are talking about. You haven't noticed that your donuts make policemen shit pigs. Mm, no, Dado is not hearing this. Very strange. Dado does not know why it would be pig. That is very random, Dado is thinking. How very strange indeed, says Dado. So this isn't any kind of political statement. No, no. See, Dado is of enlightened centrism. Dado only want to grill and sell fine Dado grill products. I have a hard time believing that. It is true. Certainly has had nothing to do with Dado seeing people on Dado Television, now on sale at Dado's Electronic Smart and Fish Emporiums. It's being smack about by police. No, sir, says Dado. Nothing to do with so many fine Dado customers being harassed and threatened and beat upon by police. Dado is certainly feeling no obligation for Dado to come to defense of consumer base. Dado certainly is not taking stand against fine local policemen, only sell upon policemen some fine Dado nuts. All policemen like their donuts. You're being sarcastic, I'm sure. If you say so. However, Dado does not know who this Mr. Sarcastic is. Dado is only purveyor of fine business and excellent salesmen, like the Bezos or Fort Wanda Elon. Alright, one last question. You're obviously trying to target dirty cops or something, but some of the people affected by your products are good cops. Why are you going after them too? Hmm... Dado is thinking. Oh yes, Dado is remembering. Is because pig is pig, no matter how small. I see. Very well. Thank you again for contact the Donut Customer Servicings. You have a nice day, Foundation Man. He just sent us three pig emojis. And log. Addendum 5740-2. Ongoing containment attempts. During the teardown of one instance of SCP-5740, Agent Derek Mills accidentally pressed the button on SCP-5740, which produced an instance of SCP-5740-A from within the structure. A small piece of paper was stuck to the donut, which read as follows. Subject, Outcomings. Foundation man who is assault Datto business. Datto special blend. The SCP-5740-A instance in question was revealed to be a stale donut with a bitter frosting. The frosting was later revealed to be 92% guinea pig feces by weight. Wait a minute. How did they find out the frosting was bitter? Ugh. All right, staff. That ends our broadcast. Use your Foundation Encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and support our broadcast at patreon.com slash site42.